and salutations to everyone watching this. I am who I am, and who I am is. I am the Chaz Man. This is my first video that I'm showing people how to airbrush. I've been airbrushing for a very long time. I'm actually amazed that I airbrushed because I hated airbrushing growing up. I sucked at it in school. I didn't make good grades at it. I hated it. But whoa! Look at this! <laughs> I didn't learn how to love the airbrush. So anyway, let's get into this, shall we say? Briefly, I'll talk about what I use. I've been using the Iwata Eclipse uh, air gun, airbrush. I love it. It's the best for me. I have done so many paintings, murals, and everything with it. I use uh, Createx paint. I love Createx. So anyway, let's get into it. This is on a sweatshirt. This is a zip-down sweatshirt. As you can see, this is a skull. With this whole skull. The, all these details that you see, because I know you're thinking, man, that's a lot of detail. Have a look at it. Okay. All these details came from me actually drawing. The basis of art, or no, I'm sorry, the basis of painting is being able to draw it. You got to sit down and draw in that sketchbook every day, day in and day out. So what I did, I drew it first. I went up to Staples or King Hills, whatever you got in your neighborhood. I got a transparency. I told homegirl, yo, looky here. Put this on a transparency for me, please. Take it home. I put it on an opaque projector. I trace it out with a pencil, and boom, we got it. This here is consisted of three colors. We have three shades of red, light red, medium red, and dark red. Then from here, we got a little bit of tangerine just to warm it up a little bit, if you know what I'm saying, baby. Then in the eyes, with me, I'm an eye person. If you look at a lot of my paintings, I love the eyes. Because you see, the eye and the other eye is the heart to the soul. Bubba Booey. Anyway, so with that, my eyes consist of black, so they stand out. So anyway, you don't have to use a lot of colors when you're doing a painting. You can do whatever you want. A lot of some of the greatest paintings are limited color. But what I do like is being able to layer your colors. That's how I like to paint. So right now, I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to finish up this top skull area. As you can see, the light source is coming from the right, therefore the shadow is on the left, baby. Are you ready? Because I am. So I'm going to darken in this eye, because this eye is also in the shadow, but you don't want to get too crazy, because I kind of want the eye to still have a glow to it, but it still has to be in the shadow just a little bit. You know, with airbrushing, you always want to step back, because when you get too close, uh, when you're painting, sometimes you don't see the change. So you want to paint a little bit, then step back. Take your time. Enjoy the process. See, I'm happy with that because now this eye is in the light. This eye is in the dark. And now, I can do what I need to do. Complete my masterpiece. And all we're doing, we're taking the middle red. The second red out of three, which is the middle, and we're just filling in. And we're building up. And then, when it's time, I can go into a darker red and really put it together shall we say. And I use a, a quick connect. This here, boom. You go from uh, one color to the, uh, to, to the next. I got about 12 different guns, so I'm using my quick connect. 
See, there we go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, come to mama. Oh, yeah. Sucky, sucky. This is when I get excited, when it all starts coming together. Oh, yeah. Check that out. You can't see me, John Cena style. So basically, at this point, I'm about done. I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And now I'm going to start adding my white highlights. I didn't think I was going to do this on camera, but hey, the camera's rolling. Shall we say, I might as well get busy.